Why do you need a flared jeans or why do you need flared pants or denim? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've been well. If you're new here, I talk about blended families, lifestyle, fashion, and beauty. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And those who have and have been following me, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the content that I create. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wear the flared pants, or in my case, flared denim. It's something that every woman should own in their wardrobe. I know as women, we have this thing of we shy away from flared pants because we feel it's only for tall people. Anyone can wear flared pants. So my search for flared jeans has been a long one. I remember when I was growing up during my teenage years in campus, in high school, there was this thing called hipsters. I was very big on them. But as I've grown older, I decided to look for them because I thought it offers a classic look. I've really looked for flare jeans for two years now. Eventually, I was able to find them at Zara and Topshop. But the one I bought at Topshop, I came home with them. They were so long. I gave a fundi to reduce them, and he messed them up. <sighs> so what he ended up doing is he ended up just making them skinny jeans. Wow. I was quite disappointed, but eventually at Zara, I landed two flared denim jeans and I'm so excited to show you how I style them and why every woman should own them in their wardrobe. My first look will be the black denim pants. I don't have any official flared pants so this is the black one. I'll be pairing it with just a plain t-shirt and this checked coat. This would be my most casual look in this lookbook. It's something that I'd wear Maybe I'm going to run errands or I'm, um, I'm not going anywhere that I need to be official. So this would be my look. And then maybe with a pair of boots, which is perfect for this weather. And you can throw on a scarf if you'd wish. The second look is the blue denim, the flared blue denim. As you can see, all my flared uh, denim is one color. Avoid flared denim that has two colors because it breaks the visual look. You want it to all look symmetrical no, no I, I, you are trying to elongate yourself so don't cut yourself by wearing a jeans with two different kind of colors i'll be pairing it with this top which is has a bit of detail and pattern you'll see you can tuck it in you can tie it next up still with the blue flare denim i'll be wearing a classic white shirt with a scarf and some heels i'll throw on top a um, trench coat to show you how to wear it in this cold weather because we're in that season that's my third look my fourth look involves the black denim, a tee with long sleeves, but it has a pop of color like nude and tonal, um, that tonal look. Young people will enjoy this because I throw in like a moto jacket. This is my moto jacket from Banana Republic. It's a bit hippie and fun. So that's my fourth look. My fifth look is very feminine. I'll have the blue flare denim, the very feminine top from Forever New. I threw on top a white jacket just to complete it and make it more feminine. I could wear this maybe for a Saturday afternoon, high tea, a, a casual drink with my friends. Yeah. My last look is by one of my favorites, or would I say the sexiest? The thing is, I wish I could wear a bralette, but I can't. It doesn't go with my personal style. So I'd wear the denim. For me, I'd wear like a camisole inside a black one, but if you can do a ballet, why not? And then I'd wear the jacket, which is an oversized blazer, it's brown, and then I'd put a belt on the waist. Why do you need a flared jeans, or why do you need flared pants or denim? One reason is it helps elongate your legs, whether you're short or you're tall. If you have like chubby thighs or you have thick thighs and you want to create the illusion that they are, they are thinner, you could wear flared pants. It has an elegant, classy look to it. The only trick with it is that for you to be able to balance your proportion, you need to figure out, do I need a lowest, in terms of the waist, do I need it lowest, do I need it high waist? For me, because I'm very tall and I have a very long torso, my flared pants have to be high waist so that then I can balance off my proportions. So I'll show you an example of what I mean. Like this is my favorite. I only have two, so this is a, the, my favorite. This is from Zara, it's blue. You can see 
that the waist is very high. So my torso is very long. So when I wear it, it will reach me somewhere here. So it helps me to balance my proportions. So when you're looking for flared pants, ensure also, especially denim, to buy stretchy ones that have maybe one to two inches of stretch because what happens, it allows you to be able to tuck in your tops comfortably because if it's too tight, then it will show you your muffin top. Uh, it's called a muffin top, what's it called? It's called a muffin top, I think so. How you could wear flared pants, you could wear it with shirts. Another trick is also you should tuck it in or loosely uh, tuck half in and half out. Please don't wear it with baggy things because it's already baggy down. So it will then the proportion will look off. So ensure that at least the top is a bit fitting. And if you want to throw a blazer on top, also ensure that it's not too tight. I hope you enjoyed the looks. Let me know what is your favorite. Comment below. Anyone who has flare jeans or flare pants, tell them. Send me a picture. And the best picture might just fit themselves an extra pair of flared pants or jeans this Christmas. That marks the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.